Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two run where we are trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with only two soldiers permission. It's been a while since I played the game, probably two weeks, uh, and I remember that we had just another guerrilla ops mission this time in South Africa. We um, were recently beating the Warlock, so things are looking um, good. Very good, actually. And this is a mission where we are supposedly going to kill a field commander. So a perfect uh, non-timed mission uh, with a side trap beast-like, which means we are going to see a lot of beast-like creatures. I am taking dragon rounds uh, with me, mainly uh, to uh, to apply the burning effect. And it's going to be Dragonova plus uh, Edgar Allan Poe. The two are not the highest DPS, but when it uh, comes to actually spotting out uh, the enemies and eliminating a field commander, uh, they should they should probably work quite well. Um, the timer will only stop uh, start as soon as someone uh, begins to be revealed, and uh, with uh, them being not. Uh, revealed for a long time, can actually kill the field commander and quote unquote uh, secure the mission before the field commander even has a chance to react. Um, so it's going to be absolutely required for us to um, go first for the commander and then we can clean up the rest. These like creatures, uh, so most of them are uh, biological. I still have taken the blue screen routes. Gosh, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit tired. Uh, I still have taken the blue screen rounds because there was um, a gatekeeper, if I'm not mistaken. I just want to make sure that we can um, that we can kill it easily enough. Good. Next goal for this run is going to be um, effectively going for the assassin. This could be a chance for us to disrupt their current but before we can do it, we need to win this mission here. Your orders are to eliminate that officer with extreme prejudice. All right, here we go. We just landed. Menace one five. We're tracking the advent general and his escorts, but we don't have an exact fix on their location. Gosh, a little bit frame drop right here. So good news, we do have a bit of high ground here. Bad news, the whole map seems to be rather large. I am at your service. I know where you are. All right, two berserks. By the way, have a bit of a remote start option here. And with the car, the car is actually a really good option. I'm on the move. There is nowhere to hide. An alien patrol. Interesting. I am wondering to which degree positioning ourselves over here would have been better, but I think we're going to be fine just here. I don't want to go too close to this edge. Uh, I know that someone could get up the stairs here and then spot us out. Just want to make sure that's not the case. This here is interesting because we could remote start the truck and with that um, hurt both of them. Okay, cool. Let's take a sneak peek here. Volk says I am to obey. Yeah, we would hit only one, unfortunately, which I think is not quite good enough. Let's instead 
Make sure that we are blocking the entrance. Scanning. We're having a good overview here. And if the, uh, those guys cluster up, that's even better. I mean, if they were to stand and stay together, that'll be even better. By the way, chrysalids are bad news for us. And here's uh, the captain. Not only the captain, uh, not only did the captain arrive, they, they positioned the themselves right next to the car. It's perfect. Remote start will help us a lot. All right. <laughs> okay. So Let's try this here, shall we? Homing mine, which will explode as soon as we're remote starting. So that's additional damage right there. And then we're remote starting the car, which should be 24, uh, no, 20 damage. There we go, 12 from the car. The homing mine should explode as well. Wait, 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 wait. did the homing mine explode or not? Apparently it didn't, which means we're going to give advanced teamwork over. Alright, I think it's a good time for a sting shot. Much better. Menace one five kill confirmed. That's how it's done. Perfect. To clear the area of any remaining hostiles. We can't allow them. To That's what I call an assassination. Easy peasy. I have sight beyond vision. Easy peasy. So, all of them are running into the direction, and that's fine. They can do that. I mean, I, I really don't care. On the other hand, we think. Ah, uh, and a couple of sneaky plays today that you're uh, thinking about. We could. Might as well trigger those guys. Yeah, but they're not close enough. So the sneaky play that I was, I was thinking about is uh, effectively going with a kill zone for all of them. Uh, using a fan fire to just kill one of uh, them. Um, so kill zone ends the turn, uh, but we have um, the advanced teamwork, so we could have shifted an ability, uh, an action o uh, over, so that that Galleon Poe could have kill zoned and at the same time pulled them, which would have been a pretty sneaky move. I like it. Fortunately, here by the way, um, we can't yet remote start. But it's going to work out eventually. So we're reloading. I'll just overwatch for now. Remote start will um, help us a lot. Okay. Okay, so, <laughs> wait a second, 
I think that's... Uh, it's likewisely... It's likewisely pretty damn evil to do that, but fun at the same time. So if we were to shoot, one, two of them are only in range. Okay. However, if we were to move over here, that'll change the whole aspect. Or over here. Where everyone would be in range. Okay, wait a second. Before we do that... Hmm. The other alternative is... Remote start. And effectively get, get all of them down. We still have a claymore. Which we could place here. Hmm. That would be an option. Yeah, so many good plays. I mean, uh, one option could uh, that one option that I was considering is we're grappling over here, uh, then uh, lay a uh, kill zone and into all of it, do the trick and uh, start them off. And I think after careful consideration, it's probably the best uh, choice of actions. So this here should not. Uh, spot us out should be fine okay figured kill zone yes on teamwork And it's seldom that I start with face off. But I like the idea of softening everyone up whilst they are standing in the open. <laughs> nice, okay. And now. Kill zone. Chimes in. There we go. One. Of course, he dodged. Either that, which would be two secure kills, or banishment, which would be... Hmm, the problem is with uh, banish, we would continue firing until we're um, completely out of ammunition. Wait a second, where is it? I think this uh, trade here. So we would fire until we're out of ammunition, but the order of targets is not 100% clear. So let's just see. We would deal 7 to 8 damage. Uh, that means at least 3 shots here. Uh, 2 shots here. Um, and 2 shots here. So that's 7. And we're looking at 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Plus those uh, guys would notice that we are here, which would be an issue. Uh, if we're not doing it, we're going to be hit. Uh, we'll take poison damage, uh, which sucks. Um, if the chrysalid moves up, 
theoretically we should get another shot. But that's theoretically. Yeah, there is really no good option. It's it's absolutely surprising that those two are have dodged. Which is yeah. Surprising to say the least. So we're going with the remote start. I don't want to lose the stealth. Although the banishment was another great option. This here are two secured kills, uh, keeping the stealths and not pulling the extra pack. And we've been rewarded for our greed. All right. First things first. I really do not like chrysalids and they need to die. Secondly, <laughs> secondly, we move here. We still could kill it uh, with fanfire, I suppose. I don't want to open other areas of the map. I think we're pretty safe if we're moving to here. Heading out. This ain't a duel. Nice, nice, nice. Good job. Dragonova moves over. You tell me. And she kills it without being seen. I still extra blood trail. So far we are good. Now there's another pack of Berserks. Again, we are fine. Now they are officially triggered. Unfortunately, they are also officially triggered in their round, which makes it even a bit worse. So, question of the day would be, should we go with Shrapnel? If we were to dual strike this guy here, that definitely would be one of the, the options. I am still considering like how far they can really run. Because we we technically could like run away from them. Blocking the ladder here. Which would force them to take this ladder. Or alternatively moving up here and blocking the ladder. Which would force them to go all the way around. I think that's a smarter move. We got uh, grappling hook ready so from here we could grapple back up. Yeah, let's do that. Rolling out. Very unlikely that we're triggering the other pack. Because there's no line of sight. And I'm pretty sure the other pack is somewhere back here, here, or here. And no, no, the movement just simply did not trigger. Uh, or wasn't prone to trigger. So... This here on the other hand. It was a really bad throw because I can't see it. Well done. Good job, Saiken. <laughs> uh, and I was considering really using uh, homing mine instead, but they are not standing right next to one another. 
nine. That's why I didn't want to do it. Okay, we're doing a little move around, spin around. Grappling. So let's reload. reload. And we do have a re-stealth, uh, so might as well start with Banish now. It's one. Two, three, four. Alright, okay. Okay, buddy. I can see you're a little bit angry. That's one shot. That's two. It's burning. We might end up taking one hit here. Not sure if we can completely avoid it. Depends if we're critting now or not. We're not critting. So it's going to burn. bit unlucky on the damage department uh, so we could have easily gotten more damage than that. Dragonova luckily the Berserks can't kill you in in one go. I need to reload. I was born in the shadows. Dragonova needs to restills. As you order commander. And I think there's only one more pack left. Let's see where the gatekeeper is. Yeah, nice. Good old Claymore mine here. My life is in your hands. On the move. I'm on it. I can hear them. All right, interesting. Let's see. Moving out. All right. Moving to position. They might be within this uh, this house here. Apparently not immediately visible. I am trusting no place for you to go now. An alien scouting party. I'm wondering why I cannot explode 
this truck here. Moving as ordered. Okay, at least we know where the last party said. Okay, best case, we are remote starting this here, which would affect um, the gatekeeper if we were to remote start this we would be looking at hitting the stun lancer but not the gatekeeper gatekeeper would be hit by the truck okay so what we're going to do is we're banking on the fact that those guys are going to move in some shape or form and we're remote starting I'm wondering how that doesn't trigger kill zone at all. How? That's the very first time that it triggers kill zone. <laughs> That is the most bullshit. Okay, right, no. <laughs> that is so bad. It is. It's starting to be funny. Let's take the high road. This here is going to end him. Perfect hair trigger. Oh, hair trigger. Nice. Four to seven. We're looking at twelve. Okay, we're going to make a clean cut here. That's two down. And this here is preparation for number three. There we go. And that should be the mission. So... 
not going to blame RNG or anything, but there were two, mom uh, two moments that were a bit unlucky. Number one, the whole Berserker interaction. Okay, I made a mistake with the line of sight for the Claymore mine, but still the minimum damage on the Berserks was subpar at best. Uh, the other one was the kill zone that just didn't trigger. All of them were moving through the kill zone, not, uh, and it seems we had like zero, uh, zero vision range on them. The soldier that joined us from the resistance is certainly a quick study, having already surpassed some of our other soldiers' capabilities. Hello, Commander. Good, we got another scientist and we countered to Viper rounds, which isn't bad. There we go. The Warlock weapon takes six more days. Interesting. Good, so we got another bond. That's not bad. Let's speed this up a little bit, shall we? So we got a ton of new facilities. And I'm no longer afraid making contact. Mainly because we're only having the assassin at the moment and having uh, the Hunter is uh, the last chosen. It's really not a big deal anymore. We're anyways fighting them. Pretty solid month if you look at all of our achievements. This here would be good for Mimic Beacons, but we're not using a lot of Mimic Beacons. This here, I could, we could ignore this one. I don't know what the hidden event is. Um, in terms of our new option here, I would like to make contacts immediately. That speeds up the whole process quite a bit. And let's use the sergeants just for one month because because the last uh, uh, time we had wait a second wait a second commander there we go by the way forces we just contacted in this region have provided us all the intel they have on the chosen actively working in the area i told you guys if we were to expand further we would uh, get the hunter. Anyways, I was about to say I picked the new um, the new GTS because I think that one, two, three, four. I think that in case we're running into a, an issue again with the GTS that allows only sergeants. Oh shit, we had so many rookies. <laughs> I should have checked before. Uh, in case we're running back into a problem with a GTS that allows us to only bring uh, sergeants or below, this here is a perfect option for us to get a couple of sergeants. Okay, so that was contact number one. Need a bit more intel for this contact here. New regional contact located. Lots and lots and lots of additional contacts that we can make from here. This here is going to be interesting because once we get to here and here and here we have the options to to go, uh, get uh, three new uh, contacts right away. Commander, 
where we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our system. Yeah, we're going to put uh, we put a uh, tower here. I think that'll be a good idea. And probably here. Research was a success, Commander. Ooh, nice. Look at that. Disruptor rifle. Yep, shotguns, additional slot. Yes, please. Let's check the disruptor rifle real quick because I think that is really helpful. So Roby here uh, currently still has his normal prototype plasma rifle. But with the disruptor rifle, we finally have something that has four upgrades in it. So a stock, a hair trigger, bonus aim, and additional clip size plus. It deals the same amount of damage and yeah, that's pretty much it. Look at that. Swagger weapon. I love it. Probably need some more aim, uh, but elsewise Roby is pretty much fine. We could give him 14 aim, a superior aim. Um, that would solve the issue. We would go down a couple of hit points, but I think it's personally worth it. So let's go with the aim for now. Which means we're looking at 109, so he should be capable of hitting targets even in high cover. Yeah, and both of them still need to upgrade their uh, bond to the highest level, but that's okay. For now, we're fine. Good, we're waiting 10 more days because currently we're searching for the hideout of uh, the assassin. Let's build a tower down here, a radio relay. Setting course for Brazil. Mainly because we can then expand further to South America and also over to Australia. And there we go. Extract a dark VIP. Well, no, it's extract the VIP. Uh, engineer and Intel. So uh, it could be a dark VIP because it's Intel on top of it. It's most likely a dark VIP. Let's see what we got. We got an Andromedon, Heavy Mech, Elite Spectre. But we also got Viper. Purifier, Priest, Elite Officer. It's pretty mixed spec, to be honest. Um, I'm going to prepare that for our next mission, guys. For now, I think we come to the end of uh, today's session. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed the content, uh, the many kill zones that didn't fully work out, and my commentary, give it a thumbs up, uh, leave a like, or a comment down below. That helps a lot and I like to hear from you. Take care and bye bye.